this is another problem on change in state of matter. In this question, we want to know what amount of heat, which means we want to calculate Q. What amount of heat must be absorbed? So we know that the system is absorbing energy, which means this is an endothermic process. And that means the value of Q we get will be positive. To change 80.0 gram of liquid water, so we are beginning with liquid water, and we have 80.0 grams of the liquid water. That will be the mass at a temperature of 50.0 degrees Celsius that is for the liquid water to steam so we're going from liquid water to steam and the steam we want it to be at 100.0 degrees Celsius let us draw a curve of this system the vertical axis will be the temperature axis the horizontal axis will be the Q axis in joules. For this problem, we have liquid water initially at a temperature of 50.0 degrees Celsius. So somewhere here, 50.0 degrees Celsius that is the liquid water and we want to change it to steam so if we supply energy to the liquid water the temperature will increase until the temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius let us label the two points we have so far this is liquid water at this point, we still have liquid water. When you continue to supply energy to liquid water at 100 degrees Celsius, the temperature will not change. All that would happen is that the liquid water will transition into gaseous water. So this will be steam at 100 degrees Celsius. So all we want to do is to calculate the energy required for changing the temperature of liquid water at 50.0 degrees Celsius to liquid water at 100 degrees Celsius temperature is changing so we are going to make use of Q equals to MC Delta T that is gonna be our Q1 and also we want to calculate the amount of energy required to change the liquid water to steam at the same temperature we're going to call that Q2 and here we're going to use the mass of the liquid water multiplied by the heat of vaporization of water. So to calculate Q1, we know the mass of the liquid water, it is given as 80.0 grams. We know the specific heat capacity for the liquid water. It is given as 4.18 joules per grams per degree Celsius. So 4.18 joules per grams per degree Celsius. And the change in temperature of the water, it is going from 50.0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius so that would be 50.0 degrees Celsius 
grams will cancel out, degrees Celsius will cancel out. If you plug all of these values into your calculator, you should end up with 167.20 joules because joules is the only unit we have left. Let us calculate Q2. Q2 will be equal to the mass of the liquid water times the heat of vaporization of water. The mass of the liquid water is 80.0 grams. The heat of vaporization of water is given to us as 2259 joules per gram. So 2259 joules per gram. And if you cross out the grams, again, the only unit to have left is the joules. If you plug all of these numbers into the calculator, it should give you 180720 joules. That would be Q2. So the total amount of heat that must be absorbed by the liquid water total heat absorbed will be equal to Q1 plus Q2 which would be equal to 16720 plus 180720 juice and from my calculator I got 197440 juice.